How's it going out there? Today I want to show you how to get your emails faster on your iPhone. Okay, there's a couple of things you can change in the settings that will uh, basically get your emails to you quicker as soon as they're sent. Uh, so I kind of want to show you those different features and how to work that. Let's go to uh, go to your settings application. I'm already there, but we want to come down to where it says mail, contacts, and calendar. And you see my different email accounts. Come to where it says fetch new data. And so there's basically three options you have. Um, you have push, fetch, and manual. Okay. Push is basically what it says right here. When new data is available, it'll push it right to your iPhone immediately. Okay. So someone sends you an email. As soon as the iPhone gets it, it pushes it right and uh, it'll update your email for that account. Fetch is a little bit different. Fetch is you can actually schedule the iPhone to check every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, every hour, uh, or manually. So if a new email comes, it'll still only look every hour for new emails. The iPhone is not checking constantly for new emails. Okay. Now the third option is manual. When you hit manual, the iPhone will not look for mail. It will not look until you open the email app and... Um, Usually when you open it up, it'll start looking where you can click on the little, um, there's a button, there's an update button you can press that will update and check for new emails. So, if you're trying to conserve battery life, turn off push, okay? Now, the, the pro is more battery life. The con is your emails won't come as fast. If you don't have anything important you're looking for and you just want to make sure you conserve your battery life as long as you can, just turn off push, okay? Now, Here's the thing, only certain email accounts work with push, okay? And I'm going to show you that right now. So let's, nope, I didn't mean to go back. So we're back to this screen, come down to advanced, okay? And I'm going to click on uh, my mobile me account. And so mobile me actually lets you pick one of the three, push, fetch, or manual, okay? So if I do push, remember, as soon as the email comes, automatically it's going to pop right up on my screen fetch it'll go by whatever schedule I have set so 15 30 or one hour and then or if I hit manual then um, it will not look for emails it'll just update when I open that application okay so mobile me has those three options if I go to Gmail let's go to a different Gmail right here if I go to Gmail I don't have a push option which means that you're not you can't have email push right to it immediately it has to go by your fetch schedule so pretty much however you have it set whether it's um, 15 minutes 30 or an hour that's how often it will check for emails for those accounts so as you can see in the advanced option certain ones say push certain ones are fetch so you can kinda go in and decide which ones will be pushed which ones will be fetched which ones are manual so here's the list gmail AOL and hotmail are only uh, fetch and manual, okay? They don't accept push. Uh, as far as I know, Mobile Me and Yahoo are the ones that allow you to push emails immediately. So keep that in mind for the kind of accounts that you have, or maybe you set up in the future. And if you're really trying to conserve battery life, again, turn off push and um, put the fetch schedule on manual. And you know. Normally, the average person doesn't check email until they open their iPhone anyway. So, let's say if you don't open your iPhone for three or four hours, it won't look and therefore it won't drain your battery as much. So, as soon as you do open your iPhone, hit mail and then it'll update for you. So, this is how to get your emails faster. This is also kind of a slash how to conserve your battery life. So, you kind of, you know, it's on a case by case basis. And all this is going to be found again in settings and in mail. And if you come all the way down the bottom, Go where it says fetch new data, and then you can kind of select the option that you uh, you want that will fit you best. So hope that was helpful. And hey, check out my other video, which was uh, email notifications. It will show you how to customize how the email pops up on your screen once something new comes in. All right, hope that was helpful, and have a good one.